welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am back with another review slash what's new. I have two, three, uh, three. I have three releases that have come out from Caloris to Carol since the middle of May and so I'm tremendously behind. So let's just jump right in here and talk about the Roller Girls collection, the Summer Thermals that she came out with, and her 4th of July duo. We're gonna start with the ones that came out the earliest or like the ones that are the most old for me, which would be the Roller Girls set. So this is a five bottle set. One, two, three, four, five, five bottles. This is a five bottle Brights set from Caloris to Carol that I was so excited. The second I opened up the PR package from Caloris to Carol, I immediately fell in love because this is exactly what I'm going for right now. I am so into Brights at the current moment, even though I know I'm not wearing any polish right now, but this is what mama wants. I want bright, I want neon, I want in your face because those are the colors I adore wearing in the summer. So when Carolina released this collection, I was absolutely pumped. Even if I had not gotten these as PR from Caloris to Carol, I would have purchased these on my own because this is exactly what I want. We're gonna start right out of the gate with the pink polish from the Roller Girls set because I mean, I love this so much. This is called Princess on Wheels and it is a classic, perfect Barbie pink that is perfect for this season right now. Now, all of these creams have like a little subtle kind of chameleon, finely milled shimmer running through them that is very, very subtle. Now, you can kind of barely see it when it's in the bottle and I don't even know how well it's gonna pick up on camera. It's just not strong enough to really be that noticeable. However, I really don't care because this Barbie pink color is so gorgeous and more importantly, the formula is amazing. I really don't feel like you need more than two for these polishes because they are just so amazingly gorgeous. The natural finish on these is actually quite glossy as well and you can also like snazz it up and make it matte if you wanted to to give it kind of like that plastic feel oh, which I absolutely adore. This one is definitely one of my favorites from the Roller Girl set because it's pink. I love pink. I love this bright magenta. It's perfect for the summer absolutely adore it. Next we have Boogie, which is kind of a lime green. And now this looks really, really similar to, I think it's called Vita from a couple of years back, or maybe it was last year, I don't remember. Um, she's up there, hold on, one second. If you hold them up side by side, they are very, very, very close. However, Boogie is more intense and a little bit brighter. Just like with Princess on Wheels, Boogie does have a little bit of like a, a, a glittery, micro, flaky business going on in here. However, I, just, I really can't see it that well. Um, it's not super noticeable, therefore it's not really that distracting to me. To me, what draws me in is like lime green, which I absolutely adore. This one is definitely a solid two coater because it is a little bit on the thinner side in comparison to the rest of these polishes, but I honestly didn't need any more than two coats. However, like I say so many times, personal application and personal preferences definitely might be a factor with this one. You might need three, you might need two, depending on your style. Gorgeous. I just love this color. It's so bright and so fun. It's great. Next, we have a blue. That is perfect. It is so perfect. This is called See You at the Rink, and it is kind of Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, but not quite. Here is Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue, um, which might be a little bit washed out because of all of my lights, and here it is compared to See You at the Rink. Um, it's also really similar to a blue that I was wearing back in May that I had so many people ask me questions about. That one is Mom Jeans from Glitter Days. They're very similar. Like Again, Mom Jeans is a little bit washed out, but See You at the Rink is a little bit more intense, a little bit more saturated, but these are very, very close, and these are some of my favorite blues to wear in the summer because they're so bright and they're so happy and they're so in your face like oh, I just love it. This one just like the rest of the polishes in this set does have a little bit of that multi-chrome 
flaky, super, super tiny, tiny shimmer running through here. Um, this one is a little bit more noticeable in the um, C with the rink because I think that the base is so dark. So you can see that pop of like purple a little bit better. However, it's really, it's honestly to me not that noticeable. What draws me in isn't the shimmer, it's this color. It's the formula because it's amazing. If you love like these cobalty blue colors, highly recommend this one because it's gorgeous and it's just perfect for the summer. The last cream from the Roller Girl set that is Lace Up Your Skates, and it is a fantastic purple. It is bright, it is happy, it is summery, it is gorgeous, it is just perfect. I feel like this is kind of a pedicure color for me. I'm super excited to rock this one on my toes because I feel like it would look so incredibly good. It does have that shimmer running through here. It's kind of a little bit more noticeable, but again, not much. Don't buy these for the shimmer. Buy them for the colors because they're so gorgeous and these formulas are really really nice. They're so good. I was able to get this one opaque in two coats. It might have the potential of being opaque in one as the years progress. I feel like as this polish ages a little bit, it'll thicken up and then you could probably be able to get this one opaque in one coat down the line, which makes me very excited. Now the final polish in the um, Roller Girls set is the glitter topper. Now, Calorista Carol has fantastic glitter toppers. Like, I really do enjoy her glitter toppers because she adds so many fun elements to them, making them more than just iridescent flakies or holographic or what have you. She kind of blends things together and makes them absolutely stunning. Now, this is called Glow and Roll, and for me, this is like a combination of the two glitter toppers from Calorista Carol called Cam Camellia, I think that's how you say it, and Wizard Lizard. Because because you've got some holographic elements like you see in Camellia, but there aren't any large multi-chrome flakies in here. Instead, you have some of these iridescent flakies that you see in Wizard Lizard. So for me, it's a blending of those two toppers that we've seen from Caloris to Carol in the past to create this really gorgeous, very subtle, very like sparkly and fun glitter topper that looks amazing on the creams in this set. Of course, this glitter topper can be used with other polishes. Um, I personally like it on pastels. I think I think it looks really good on pastels, especially like those uh, bleached neons where it's like a bright neon pastel. Mm, love it, absolutely love it. I feel like if you enjoy glitter toppers and you like to use toppers to kind of change your manicure after a couple of days, definitely look into Glow and Roll. I feel like it's a good one to have in your utility belt of making your manicure last a little bit longer than just one or two days. The Roller Girl set, I feel like all 10 thumbs way up like all all the stars all the thumbs all the reviews like way to go like i again like i mentioned before if i had not received this as pr i would have purchased this myself because this is everything I want. The quality's phenomenal and just everything is just so happy. Absolutely love it. But now let's move on to some thermals. After the um, Roller Girl set, she released three summertime thermals. Now these are very, very similar to the two thermals that she released for Polish Pickup. Um, a couple months ago, she came out with Sayuri, which is a beautiful crimson red that transitions to a clear. And then last month, or this month, I guess, she released Lightning Legs, which is a cobalt blue that shifts to a clear. And they have glittery elements that are fun, that are exciting. And so, since so many people adored these thermals from Calorista Carol, she created a three bottle trio that has that same idea, where we have some really beautiful, bright gem tone jellies that transition to clear when they are warmed up. So the first one we have to talk about is Refresh, and this one is definitely like a purpley pink. It's kind of like a raspberry, purpley goodness that is absolutely gorgeous. There is a purple in the set, and if you hold them side by side, you can definitely tell that Refresh has definitely got a little bit more pink or red happening in here. Now, there are lots of glittery elements inside this polish. There's holographic stuff. There are some finely milled metallic glitters as well that range in colors from like gold and blue and silver. And so when you put them on your nail, it looks fantastic in the cold state, but then when it transitions to clear as the polish warms up, those metallic glitters really do pop out and really stand out a little bit more. I just think that gradient from the, the, the bright jewel toned color to the clear is so gorgeous. It's just so much fun and adorable on the nails. Since we already mentioned it, let's talk about Wild and Free, which is the purple from this trio. And this again is like a solid mid-tone purple. It's really saturated, it's super 
super super duper in your face and again we've got some glittery elements in here that make it sparkle and pizzazz in the sunlight there are some metallic purple glitters in here there are some purple micro flakies perhaps and of course there's some hollow shimmer in here too making it super sparkly and fun to wear with all of these thermals I did two coats and then with those two coats you could still kind of see that nail line but for me that wasn't that big of a deal because they do transition to clear so you're gonna see your nail line anyway so it wasn't that crucial to me to make these completely opaque so that I can't see that nail line. However, I feel like if you really, really wanted to cover it up, I'm sure a third coat would definitely do the trick. For me, I was happy with two coats. The last polish we have to talk about in the Thermal Trio is By The Sea. I love this one, you guys. This one is probably my favorite out of the trio because it's this really intense teal blue. Again, it's, it's this jewel-toned teal, so it's really, really dark and, and really, really saturated. Once again, we've got tons of glitter inside this polish, except there's it's more gold than anything else. I thought the gradient on this one was really, really flattering on having that, the dark teal tips and then it goes into a clear base, like, oh, I thought it was gorgeous. I really do like this one the most out of the entire trio. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, a word about these thermals, like I always have to say, when it comes time for thermals, we have to talk about shelf life. It is very important to understand that thermals have a very limited shelf life depending on how you store them. Most thermals will last as far as like their color changing properties um, for about six months to a year depending on how you store them. Oftentimes, as the years go by with these polishes with these thermals that color changing property kind of dies in a sense it just doesn't work as well as it used to when it was a fresh new bottle so make sure and keep that in mind when looking into thermals not just these thermals but all thermals in general it's really important that you enjoy the base color because oftentimes that's what you're left with once these polishes die that's what you'll be left with over the course of several years okay now <sighs> We got through the most, the oldest collections. Let's talk about what is brand new at Chloris de Carol. And I am so excited, you guys, because I love dressing up my nails for the holidays. And so I was so relieved and so excited to see that Chloris de Carol is, was going to release a 4th of July duo. She has a Crelly glitter, which we all know how I feel about Crelly glitters. And then she has a glitter bomb topper that is absolutely stellar. These were released, I believe, on Friday of last week. So they are currently available on the Chloris to Carol website. And if you are interested in buying them for the 4th of July, you definitely want to get them soon because you want to give them enough time to be shipped to you in time for the holiday. So let's talk about the Crelly because you guys, I cannot, I just, I can't. I just love Crellies so much and Carolina does a fantastic job with Crellies. I have quite the collection of Crellies up here that you can't see because Caloris to Carol starts with a C and so it's higher up on my shelf, but she's got amazing Crellies. She's got amazing Crellies and this one is no exception because we are dealing with a gorgeous, stunning, crystal pure, clean, white Crelly base. And then there is every imaginable shape of glitter inside this polish, either in white, in uh, navy blue, or red. And it's so cute. It is just so perfect and on point for the 4th of July or even Memorial Day, even though Memorial Day is over. But you could get it for 4th of July, wear it for Memorial Day next year, wear it for Labor Day, wear it for holidays, wear it all the time because it's so gorgeous. I was able to get this opaque in two coats and just look at the glitter payoff. There is so much glitter with these two coats. Like you don't have to worry about having to manipulate glitter, move things around. However, I did have this stand upside down for about 10 to 15 minutes before I used it. And that really does help kind of equalize the glitter inside this polish, help things kind of distribute themselves a little bit better. And I recommend doing that with most glitter polishes, whether they're Crelly or toppers, because it really does give a chance for that glitter to kind of figure itself out and make itself more available for you when you tip it back right side up and paint your nails with them. I love this. I think it's so cute. I absolutely adore it. I think it's so on point for the holiday. You can do so many fun things with it. You can wear a glossy topper on it, which is what I've done in the swatch photos, or you can put a matte topper on it and make it look like 4th of July ice cream with sprinkles, which I mean, come on, how is that not perfect? And I've also seen lots of amazing swatches on Instagram where people stamp on top of this. So they use this. This is like a base color and then they stamp some 4th of July prints on top of it. 
So cute, so cute. The possibilities are endless with this one. Love the holiday polishes from Cloris de Carol. This one is amazing. The other polish in the duo, the glitter topper, is called Freedom. And Freedom is basically honor, but without the white Crelly base. There's also a very strong amount of holographic glitter in here, probably more holographic glitter in this polish than in Honor, um, and it's a fantastic glitter topper. It is so gorgeous. Here I have it on top of a light denim blue polish from Sally Hansen. I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will list it down below in case you guys are curious as to what color I'm using as the base color for this. But I've seen so many different varieties of base colors with this. I've seen it used on white. I've seen it used on black. I've seen it used on red and blue. It's perfect. Absolutely Perfect. I think this duo is absolutely fantastic. Once again, if I had not received these as PR, I would have purchased these on my own because I love holiday manicures and I love decorating my nails for the holidays. And to me, these are perfect. These are so perfect for the 4th of July. I also wanted to add that I feel like these polishes, the 4th of July duo, and those thermals that I had talked about before from Polish Pickup, Sayuri from, I think that was March Pickup, and uh, Lightning Legs from this month's Pickup, like this is a perfect family. <laughs> I feel like if you were lucky enough to get these thermals from the Pickup, you could definitely combine them with these 4th of July duos from Cloris to Carol, and you could really come up with some fun 4th of July manicures. Like you guys, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped, cannot wait. I'm probably gonna come up with at least three or four different manicures for the 4th of July, and I don't even know what I'm gonna end up wearing because I feel like all four of these complement each other so much, and this is like the perfect like 4th of July set, honestly. It's amazing. So good. So there are so many amazing things happening over at Caloris de Carol. I will link her store down below and I also have a coupon code as well that will give you 10% off of your order. If I don't get any kickback from that. That is simply a code to give you guys a 10% discount. So those are the new releases from Caloris de Carol. What do we think? I know they've been out for a while and probably most of you already have some of these polishes, but as usual, I'm dying to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section down below if you've purchased any of these polishes lately. Uh, did you get the 4th of July duo because I'm so excited like 4th of July cannot get here fast enough because I want to wear these all the time But that is my video for today you guys. I hope you enjoyed it Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye